so we are now starting a brand new chapter called the power law so it's very difficult to uh, difficult on your minds if i start talking about power law directly so as and always it has been customary that we start with an example right uh, with a nice story rather okay so what i'll do is i will now ask you all this question assume i go to a new city and i make a note of everybody's heights of everyone in the town i make a note of everyone's height heights of people in the town i come back and then i look at this data and i try plotting the following very simple graph the graph will be this on my x axis i'll have heights on my y axis i'll have percentage of people with that height so let let me illustrate this with a with a with a numeric value so what i do is let's say this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so i uh, forgot to mention that i am making note of only height of adults in the town okay as you would have guessed there uh, there is no reason why we should take one foot one foot or let's say eight and above we do not know of anyone who's who's of this height adults especially so what i do is this plot mainly goes like this i look at the percentage of people who are 5 feet tall percentage of people who are 6 feet tall and most of the people as you would have guessed will be between 5 and 6 so around 5.3 5.4 will be the peak there will be very less people with 6 and over very very few people who will be 7 feet tall very unlikely in um, many countries although you will you will find really tall people it's it's very country specific you might find tall people in uh, different countries but most of the countries will not have very tall people above 7 feet so there there going to be very very less and uh, people just above 4 are going to be less people who are 4 feet are very very less and this is how your plot will look like as you would have guessed okay it 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 goes up and then comes down like this so what do we observe we observe that there are very few people with very very less height and very few people with very, who are very very tall and most of the people are between this okay let's say between 5 and 6 feet correct this is where it peaks such a distribution is called a normal distribution this is called a normal distribution what do you, what do you what do you mean by normal distribution a distribution where uh, it is uh, less on the left and right and it peaks somewhere in the middle right okay so we can see many things in life which has normal distribution um uh, things for example let's say uh, the iq of people iq of people in a classroom you will see um if i were to plot on the x and y axis as and always as i told you this is going to be my in this example iq of people and y axis will be percentage of people with that iq right so uh um let's say this is slightly on the lower side this is slightly on the higher side you will find very few people with very very low iq meaning below average very few people with extremely high iq and most of them will sort of lie um in the middle and if you actually try plotting values for everything you will indeed get a curve like this and this curve in statistics is called the bell curve b e l the bell curve it resembles the shape of a bell that's why it's called the bell curve in fact it is um, easy to capture it mathematically as well although we'll not discuss it um, right now 
So uh, IQ of people uh, forms a bell curve. You can think of many such examples, right? Weight of people in a town. Weight is another such example. IQ being one such example. Height being another example, right? So let us look at an example which is very specific to our work, to our subject. And that's going to be networks. So if I, it, what, what do we observe? What do we observe if we were to take a network and try to ask the degree distribution in the network? Degree distribution. What do you even mean by this? By degree distribution, I mean, again, the x and y axis. Here is my y axis and my x-axis. Along my x-axis will be degree of nodes and along my y-axis will be percentage of nodes with that degree. So with that I mean if you have something like uh, 10 here, um, this this point will denote the, per let me just write that down so that it sinks into your minds. This denotes the percentage of nodes with degree 10, with degree 10. And our big question right now is how does this plot look like? How does this plot look like? And for that, we should first take a network. So here is a good a chance for you all to write a piece of code and observe the following. Let me take you all should probably consider a graph with 1000 nodes and with probability let's say 0.1 you put edges between them. What do you mean by this? By this you mean let's say we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 nodes something like this. What you would do is you will put edges by considering the probability 0.1. What do, what do I mean by probability 0.1? We have discussed this at length before, but I'll just uh, recapitulate. Um, you toss a coin with uh, head and tail probability 0.1, heads probability, and 0.9 will be your tail probability, right? If you get a heads, you put an edge. If you get a tail, you don't put an edge. That's how I'm continuing this. Right? Assume I got a network something like this. Right? This will be my uh, final network. And this is my graph G with probability. How many, how many nodes are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 nodes. This is a graph 13 nodes. And edge probability is 0.1 which means I toss a coin with probability of uh, it being heads is 0.1 and tail being 0.9. I put an edge if I get a head. I don't put an edge if it's a tail. I repeat this process for every possible edge on this 13 node graph. Okay, I showed you a simple example, but what you should be doing is do it for a thousand node graph. Right? Do it for a thousand node graph. Once you finish programming, Take a thousand node graph and put edges with probability 0.1. This is called a G of thousand comma 0.1. And what should you do? As you would have guessed, compute its degree distribution. We discussed in our uh, previous slide, what's a degree distribution? Uh, you put degree on the uh, X axis and you put the percentage of nodes on the Y axis and see how this plot looks like. You will be startled to see that this plot will resemble a bell curve once again with very few nodes, very few nodes with very high degree, with very high degree. At the same time, you will see very few nodes, very few nodes with very low degree.
and again it will peak somewhere in the middle if you can guess it peaks around 100 for x being 100 it peaks you can probably tell me why it's the product of uh, 1000 and point 0.1 it's left as a it's left as a quiz for you all to say why does it peak at 100 anyway the moral of the story is simple when we plot a graph with 1000 nodes and point 0.1 h probability we will see again a bell curve Yeah, probably you, you would you would tell me yeah we saw it in the previous cases we saw many examples right it is not at all surprising for us right so um, IQ of people you saw uh, you saw uh, that the degree of nodes follow power, uh, what is called the normal distribution and everything else looks uh, similar right if you look at weights of people height of people uh, IQ of people all of them seem to follow this bell curve only nothing surprising about it right so let me write that down there's nothing surprising about it nothing surprising then in the late 1990s scientists observed something that is actually very surprising so what do you mean by the very word surprise surprise is something that happens unexpectedly you think that this is how it should be but nature has something else in store. You see something else happening there. What you thought should have happened is not what's happening there. And that is what creates a surprising or what is called a shock factor. In the late 1990s, network scientists observed a very nice phenomena. They took, at the, they took a look at several real world networks. So uh, until uh, 1990s, people did not have big networks. That was because we didn't have uh, computational ability back then. It was only in the 80s and 90s that we started collecting a lot of data and we had data sets, we had computers which could crunch the data sets. So um, let's say they, if you consider uh, the network of the World Wide Web, it is a few millions of nodes. People ask the same question. What will be the distribution of degree on this network? And they all expected it will be a bell curve. And as you would have guessed, there was a surprise stroke shock factor there. And the fact was the following. They observed that it was no way close to the bell curve. The curve looked something like this. There was a drop. It was not a bell like this it was not like this it was a drop like this so once again what is the x and y axis x axis is the degree and y axis is the percentage of nodes that have so much degree so people observed that there's a drop here why is it happening right so uh, if if um if, if let's say um, you 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 try drinking milk tomorrow morning and milk tastes uh, so salty. Let's say uh, you will actually start wondering what went wrong. Why why is it why is my milk tasting uh, salty of all things, right? Something should have gone wrong, right? Something should be uh, there is some background information that you are missing. So similarly, when scientists observed the drop of the curve like this, which is no way close to the bell curve, people thought something must be happening here that we don't seem to understand. So let me write that down. Something is happening here that we don't understand. So what could be happening? Why exactly is this uh, absurd? What, 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 what does this even mean? You see, um, there are a lot of nodes with very low degree and very few nodes Right? Very few nodes with very high degree. That's what it means. Right? Few nodes with high degree. And then let me write this here. Lot of nodes with very small degree 
And this startled the community of network scientists. They started wondering why is this a property being seen? What is making this property emerge? Now is the right time for you all to pause the video and think about the question. Why is this happening? The big why. Why is it that we are not able to see a normal distribution here? Why are we seeing a drop in the curve like this?